Welcome to Crowd Europe. Five places to visit on your cultural trip around Croatia. Croatia. Croatia has been a crossroads between the East and West for centuries. Once a Greek colony, later a Roman province, Croatia has been influenced by the Byzantines, Ottomans, Napoleon and Austro-Hungarians, to name just a few. Croatia's diverse and turbulent heritage has turned the nation into a true cultural jewel, its patrimony rich with influences from these periods. From castles, churches and theatres to food, wine and music, we've put together a list of nine places you should visit to get your dose of Croatian culture. 1. Rijeka, EU Capital of Culture 2020. In Rijeka the mountains reach out to the sea, a juncture that brings with it an abundance of gastronomic opportunities. Head to the main city market to try it all, it's been the place to dine since the 19th century, and it's also an Art Nouveau architectural treasure. If you're visiting in 2020 you're in extra luck, as the city has been selected as Europe's capital of culture 2020 and will have an extensive cultural program on offer. Over 600 individual events will take place, including exhibitions, shows, operas, conferences, concerts, festivals, and more. New cultural exhibitions will be on offer at the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, Children's House, City Museum of Rijeka and the Galeb Ship Museum. You have to try, Istria's Truffles. The nearby town is famous for its black and white fungi, which are found in Croatia's oak forests. We love it, Rijeka has impressive neoclassical architecture, a vibrant city center and a lively central market. 2. Zagreb Why we love it, Zagreb is a reflection of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. What to do, you can visit most of Zagreb by foot. Go see the neo-Gothic Zagreb Cathedral, it is an iconic landmark, same for St. Mark's Church, one of the oldest buildings in the city. Zagreb claims to have the most museums per capita, so you probably won't have time to visit them all but don't miss Mamara the city's famous fine arts museum and the Zagreb City Museum, to absorb the capital's history. You can walk around Talsasiva Street, which has been one of the most vibrant streets in the city for centuries, and then stroll around Bogovasiva Street, a great place to people watch while enjoying a good cup of Croatian coffee. The country is famous for its coffee, olive oil, and wine. As the capital city, Zagreb is the place to find a variety of regional cuisines. Try them all at the city's central market, called Dolak. Elsewhere, look out for the traditional Konoba, an informal trattoria-style restaurant offering local delicacies. You have to try, Grenadier Masa, a tasty pasta dish with onions and cheese, Kajasman, an original dessert with caramelized pancakes, the local cheese-stuffed pastries, Strakli, and the famous pepper biscuits. Bonus, if you happen to visit during late spring, you will likely bump into, Siest is D, best one of many street festivals which transforms the city into a big stage with street theater, music, performances and sports. 3. Zadar Why we love it, you can explore 3,000 years of history in Zadar. What to do, walk the ancient city by foot to discover its diverse monuments. Start with the Church of St. Donatus, it dates from the 9th century and is the largest pre-Romanesque structure in Croatia. Today it mostly serves as a venue for medieval Renaissance music, look out for the program at the local tourism office. The Cathedral of Anastasia, constructed in the 12th and 13th century, is also worth the visit. Zadar was once the largest city fortress in the Republic of Venice, and its walls are another landmark. They formed, along with other cross-border components, the Venetian works of defense between the 15th and 17th century, which are recognized on UNESCO's World Heritage List as an outstanding monument of the modern maritime fortification scheme. From their head to the land gate, the main historical entrance to the city, built in 1543. It is considered one of the finest Renaissance monuments in all of Dalmatia. You have to try, the world-famous maraschino cherry liqueur, a centenarian recipe only made locally from indigenous marasca sour cherries, the cheese from Parg, the most highly prized cheese in Croatia, infused with the flavors of the Mediterranean and soaked in olive oil, the brodet, a fish and crab stew. For Sibenik why we love it, historic Sibenik has two UNESCO sites. What to do, the first UNESCO listed landmark is St. James Cathedral, a basilica from the 15th and 16th century. It is praised for its fusion of Gothic and Renaissance art. Croatians feared invasion from the Ottomans for centuries, so the city of Sibenik had four fortresses, the most formidable being St. Nicholas SV Nicole, whose defensive architecture is also protected by the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage. While in Sibenik take a stroll to the medieval Mediterranean gardens, landscaped by award-winning architect Dragutin Kiss. They are located around the former St. Lawrence Monastery, which is also worth a visit. Gardens are open year-round, and they often host open-air events in summer. 
Dalmatian traditional dishes are another good reason to visit the city, head to a seaside taverna to enjoy a fine glass of wine, Sibenik is the country's primarily wine-producing area. You have to try, Kruni Rizzo, a black risotto with squid, served with grated cheese. 5 Primostan Why We Love It, an island in its past life, Primostan has preserved the architectural features of a medieval Mediterranean fishing village. What to do, about five centuries ago, during the Turkish invasions, the inhabitants of the islet built walls, towers and a bridge connected to the mainland to protect the city. When the Turks retreated, the bridge was replaced by a causeway. The city is worth a visit just for its Croatian seaside village atmosphere. Start at the old town gate, the stone remnants of the old walls. Then head uphill and visit the parish church of St. George, built in the 15th century, to profit from the unique view of the sea. Primostan is another great town to try Dalmatian cuisine, especially the outstanding red babich wine, paired with goat cheese, prosciutto and olives, all native to Primostan. You have to try, a shot of rakia, another local speciality, a fruit brandy popular in the Balkans. Share and subscribe channel. CEOWD Europe